Hey you guys, it's Peter, and I'm back. Of course I'm back, I'm not going anywhere. Feast! <laughs> I'm international now, I'm YouTube famous now. Available in 3000 BC, the album, Dad. <laughs> and I wanna dance with somebody. I want the receipts on somebody. Okay, let's get right into this video. Oh, what a day it's been. I got my hair cut. I went out to lunch with one of my good Judies. And then I went to Ikea and I bought some stuff from my front patio. That's that's the real life of a YouTuber, okay? My lips are so chapped. Hold on a second. I, I gotta get my uh, lip. No, I don't want that. Let's see. No, I, I don't need that. Look at this little chapstick. I don't need that. Where's my lip? Lip plumper, don't need that. Where is all the lip plumper? Lip plumper, lip plumper. God, I must want some big lip plumper. Where is my lip balm in here? Lick, lip ex lick, lick exfoliator, lick exfoliator. Where is my lip balm in here? I cannot find it. Oh my God, I have so many lip glosses. Where is it in here? You'd think I'd be able to find it. Oh, this Avon lip balm. No, not that. Here it is. It's my lip balm. Okay, so anyway, mm, that is much better. Now, I can bring you the drama because I got cherry Pepsi on my lips. <laughs> Let's talk about James Charles gaining subscribers back, shall we? So, I have a little theory about all this. There are so many allegations out there right now that James Charles is gaining subscribers back. Why? Because today is the first day in many that he has started to gain some subscribers back. If you look on his social blade for the day, it looks like he's gained a total of 2,000 subscribers. But right here I'm going to show you, uh, I took a little screenshot of it, I'll put it up here. If you look, uh, starting this morning, at 9 a.m., he gained six subscribers. Now, if you go back to where it says 8 a.m., okay, and it says negative 314 subscribers. Well, the thing that you have to think about that, right, is... <laughs> Now, I'm not good at math. Y'all already know that I ain't got my glasses on. I can't do math. I can't do math anyway, okay? So, I'm going to make this an even number, right? So, let's say if he had really gained, I'm just going to throw, such and such amount, okay? And actually, let's say if he had, I don't know. So, like, let's say if he had, you know, like, gained so many, but he had lost more, it, he might have lost more than 314, but the difference between the two numbers is 314. Does that make sense? So when you go to nine o'clock and he's gaining six, okay, it probably isn't that he's just gaining six. I mean, he may have gained a thousand today, but lost like, you know, I don't know, a thousand and six or, you know, whatever. Y'all know what I'm talking about. Do the math below, somebody for me. Listen, I'm so bad at math, you guys, true story. But I'm smart enough to understand that equation, okay? So if you look at 10 a.m., 488, 11 a.m., 531, 12 noon, 252, 1 o'clock, 472, uh, 2 o'clock, 964, and then if you look at 3 o'clock, he loses 2,685, okay? But then if you look at 4 o'clock, uh, how is it even? That's 3, 4 o'clock. Oh, it is 4 o'clock. I was like, is it that late? Oh, my land! Okay, holy moly. Uh, he gains 1,686. But, like I said, these aren't accurate numbers because we don't know in actuality how many he's losing and how many he's gaining. It just shows you the difference, right? But it appears that he's starting to gain subscribers again. Well, people are speculating, because this was happening to him yesterday, I think, as well, that he's buying subscribers. Okay, so let's just be logical about this for a second. James Charles has lost 3 million subscribers. <laughs> Do you think him gaining 2,000 is really going to make a difference in the grand scheme of things? especially to James Charles, okay? James Charles isn't going to care. I will tell you this, that in the past, and I watched Social Blade very, very closely, Social Bling. They should have called it Social Bling. That's so much cuter. Anyway, I think I need a little lip gloss or something going on here because my lip gloss ain't popping. So anyway, here, I'll use this one. <laughs> Woo. Ready? Okay. Mm. Much better. Now I'm ready for the back row. Okay. <laughs> At Celine, never on a Sunday. But anyway, um, you know, so people are speculating that he's buying subs. Well, I've watched Social Blade enough to know that there is no truth to that, probably, okay? You can really tell when people are buying subscribers. And, uh, you know, like I said from the very beginning, people accuse me of buying subscribers all the time. I said from the very beginning on my channel, I said, I do not care 
what that number is, but I want to know when I look at it that that's the number, okay? So I ain't somebody that's going to buy subscribers. You can accuse me of that all day long. I don't care. I know the truth. So anyway, but when you look at it, you can really kind of tell when people are buying subs. And the reason why is it looks typically like this glitch right here, okay? This, you know, 472, 964, and then negative 2685. That's how it looks often, right? But it doesn't look just like one uh, one hour. It looks like da 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 da, da and it'll be like green, 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 red, 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 red. I mean, it's so like it doesn't make sense. Social Blade often has a hard time catching up with YouTube. Okay, just a fact. They'll tell you that too. They've tweeted stuff out about that before. So what I think is going on is that he's lost so many at one time that it's not really making sense at this point. So they're like, it's kind of like they're trying to catch up with what's going on. And I think that probably so many people are subscribing, so many people are unsubscribing at the same time that there really is no accurate number of what James Charles' uh, view count is right now. But do I think, hold on, let me pull his number up here. Do I think that James Charles is plateauing out at 13,430,000? It appears so. Do I think that he'll lose more? Yes, I do. Do I think that he will get more back? Yes, I do. I think this is going to be for the next month because I don't think the drama is over yet. It's James Charles' next move is very, very important. But People are wondering why people are coming back to James, okay? I've, I've seen it all over Twitter. James Charles is gaining subscribers. People are like, they're reinstating their faith. And a lot of people are saying that it was based off of this sympathy picture that he supposedly put out from Australia. It was so interesting because I did that video and I got like several comments from people that were like, um, my friend or my sister or so-and-so works at that airport in Brisbane and the whole thing was planned, okay? And then I had other people that were like, I live in Australia, this is not planned, okay? I had other people say, I live in Australia, we don't have paparazzi like that. I got so many different conflicting, so I don't know. I don't know if the picture was planned, I don't know if it wasn't planned, whatever. Do I think that people are looking at that picture, feeling sorry for James Charles and resubscribing to him? Maybe a few, but I don't think that's overall what's going on. You know, have you ever had that friend, okay, and she's like, let's say she's kind of a mean girl. I think we've all had that mean girlfriend, right? And when you become friends with her, it's she's real funny, right? And she'll say things like, she'll be like, you know, it's like Regina George and Mean Girls, okay? And not to quote that, and everybody will be like, oh my God, you're so old talking about Mean Girls. Okay, half the people that are quoting it out there, I was younger when that movie came out than you probably weren't even born. So anyway, I've seen the movie a few times, okay? It's not my favorite movie in the whole world. But you know what she says to that one girl, and she's like, oh, I love your sweater. Where'd you get it? And the girl walks away, and she's like, that's the ugliest sweater I've ever seen. We all know a girl like that, right? We all do, okay? And I think that what happens after a while is when that one girl or that one guy or whatever picks on the same person repetitively, repeatedly, over and over and over again, at some point, you're kind of like, that's not right, okay? Like, this is to the point now where it's it's bordering on cruelty and, and meanness, okay? And we don't need to go there. And uh, there's always one of those friends in the group. And typically, a lot of people don't say anything because they know if they do, because listen, I have a long history of being bullied, so I know how all this stuff goes down, okay? So people don't say something because they know the second that you say something the tables are going to be turned on you, okay? Which is going to be very interesting because Nikita Dragon tweeted out today that she's making a video, a shady video. She's got to get some things off her chest. I think it's going to be very interesting what she says. It could change the direction of all of this, and I will be making a video unless the thing is 100% clickbait, which it could be because Nikita's known for that kind of stuff, right? So I think that one of the things that's going on is that people are starting to feel sorry for James. People are saying he's very, very young, you know, like whatever. This whole young situation to me, it's like, He's young when he's getting criticized and people are being too hard on him. You know, he's old enough when he's making horrible decisions. He's too young when he's held accountable for things, but he's an adult when he's able to go to the Met Gala. It's like, pick a side. Like, you know, seriously? I mean, I don't really care, okay? My personal opinion is he's old enough to know better and probably too young to handle the stuff that's going on right now. That's just my two cents, okay? I think he needs some adult, healthy, healthy mentors, okay? outside of the industry that care enough about him to tell him what's up. That's just my two cents, okay? People that are outside of the industry, people that will tell him that what he needs to hear, not what he wants to hear, okay? Not somebody in the industry that can gain anything from him or anything like that. He needs an adult figure that can be a mentor to him that has no gain in this whatsoever. That's what he needs, okay? Because I do think that he's really young to be handling all this kind of stuff. But at the same time, 
he has a lot of power and he has a lot of clout. And I don't mean that in just a joking social media way. He really, really does, okay? You know, I did this video about people saying, like, that there was this possibility of, like, oh, like, you know, I was... I, mean, I was kind of joking, but I have received several emails about the Illuminati thing, right? People were like, why would they ever want James Charles? James Charles is the fastest social media, fastest growing social media person of his age. He has, the, at the time that this was all going on, that he was growing, he literally had his finger on the pulse of his generation, of that whole age group, of all those kids. I mean, he had 16 million subscribers. Y'all, that's huge, okay? That That's like... Change, and I think sometimes people miss this, right? Those numbers are like change election numbers. Those are like, I mean, those are things that could like, that's a lot of power. That if he got in a video and said something could just change the way things are, right? If people really followed him. So he has a lot of power. He has a lot of power. I think he has more power than he even realizes, okay? So why are people coming back to James Charles? Because I do think that it's flowing now the other way. Well, I have several beliefs. That's one of them. That I think people are like, this has gone on too far. I've seen a lot of comments about that. I've seen a lot of people say on social media, this is, you know, at this point, let's just let it go. Let's wait and see what happens. Give the kid, kid a couple days to breathe. I don't know. What do you guys think about that? Do you think that it's just like too much for him at this point? So that's what I think is one thing that's going on. Um, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. Like, <laughs> From a personal point of view, watching all this stuff go down, I kind of hope he does come out and do a tell-all. Like, I kind of hope he does tell a little bit about what's going on in, behind the scenes, you know? I'd be very interested to see that. Um, I watched some videos yesterday from YouTubers. All these YouTubers are coming out now, right? And they're saying things about, like, you don't really know what YouTube is really like behind the scenes. You don't really know what these influences are all like. And what you see on camera is completely different than what you see behind the scenes. So it's going to be interesting to see when those, like, if, if that's proven true, you know? The other thing that I think is going on right now, and it's interesting to me that not a lot of people are talking about this, like, within the YouTube community. I've seen it all over t Twitter. I have been sent all the stuff, on and on and on. Keemstar actually did address it in his video that he did about James Charles. Canceling James Charles being canceled. He goes in there if you want to go watch his video. One of the things that he talked about in there was that Jeffree Star's tweets are being exposed, okay, from his past. And that they're very, very similar of the things that James has been accused of. Well, it doesn't seem like anybody's really addressing this with Jeffrey. And when Keemstar asked him, he said, oh, I've explained that in the past and they're just jokes. Okay? So I don't know. Do you guys think those are jokes? Do you think they're not jokes? Why does Jeffrey get a pass for this and James Charles doesn't? Okay? He also said that he asked Jeffrey Star some things about why, you know, he had tweeted out something to the effect of he's not invited over to his home anymore. Jeffrey Star gave him some answers to it. And, but he couldn't talk about it in a video and said maybe at some point he would come on and do an interview with Keemstar. So this is what I think is interesting about this, okay? Is that I think that what Jeffrey did, because Jeffrey came out with the final tweet, right? That everybody was watching Toddy, everybody was watching this, everybody was watching all this stuff go down, and then Jeffrey Star comes in and he <laughs> says, and this is it, right? And when, you, when that happened, he lost a lot of subscribers, James did, okay? Because everybody knew how close James and Jeffrey were. Well, when the stuff started coming out about Jeffree Star, I think it started putting doubt in people's heads. Like, okay, so, and not just because of his tweets, but because, like, you know, what's going on here? Y'all are calling each other out, or, 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 you know, like, you're calling him out for this, but then this is here. And so it started putting doubt in people's heads, making them think differently. Like, maybe James really isn't that bad. Maybe, is this all contrived behind the scenes? Like, what's really going on? Is there some truth to what Gabriel Zamora said? These other people, you know, like, everybody's wondering what's going on. And I think it's offering a lot of people, like, you know, listen, I am at this point, with everything that's going on right there, I am reserving judgment any further until I start, like, seeing what James Charles does coming forward. Like, if he gets on video and owns the whole thing, well, I mean, come on now. But, like, it's going to be interesting to see if he calls, you know, these people out or if he starts exposing some truths about things. The thing is this, okay, that's interesting to me about having been on YouTube doing drama videos for two and a half years. Jeffree Star really never comes out and says anything. Like, he just really never does, right? Like, he'll call Manny and Laura snakes and stuff like that or put a snake emoji out. But we still, to this day, don't really know what went down with that whole situation. And what's interesting to me is that I looked, okay? Jeffree Star is now the largest beauty influencer, okay? That's, that's saying a lot. James fell, and now it's Jeffree at the top. He has a lot of influence, a lot of control. People are starting to say, 
Is he the common denominator? Like, what's going on here, right? What's interesting to me is I looked on Manny uh, Social Blade today. He's still losing, okay? That happened in August. So we're talking eight, nine months later. Manny is still losing subscribers off of what happened eight or nine months ago. You guys, that's a lot of power that Jeffree Star has, right? To turn against him. Well, Jeffrey never really comes out. Like, he'll, he'll say, like, oh, this. But, like, he never comes out and says exactly what happens. So what's going to be interesting to me is if his, if his hand is forced to talk about something. If James would come out and say, this is BS, and this is what happened, and you all don't know about this or that or whatever, would it force Tati and Jeffrey then to have to speak again, right? Because nobody really has speculated about, oh, we just all know that Manny's this horrible friend that did Jeffrey wrong, but we don't really, really know all the details about it, right? And that's not the only reason that Manny's losing subscribers. I understand that, okay? Whenever I do videos about Manny, people are like, I didn't subscribe to him because I was bored of his content. He's changed. I don't enjoy him anymore. That was just kind of the, the you know, the, uh, what do you say, the frosting on the cake, so to speak. You know, like, a lot of people have a lot of issues with Manny. I understand that, okay? So it wasn't just about Jeffrey, but that was a lot of it. You know, what's interesting to me is that I watched a video and I'm going to leave it below. Okay. And it was by Swoop. And I don't know if you guys know who this is, but so many people sent me this video. And in the video, she said she used to be part of the beauty influencer community and that she used to host a lot of these meet and greets and that she did a lot of these like big, you know, beauty con things and what, I don't know if it was beauty con, but something like that. And she said what was interesting to her was that she had literally all of these receipts on people that if she showed them, it would literally like cancel people. And that her friends had receipts on other people and that people had receipts on her friends that could cancel them in a second. And she she was like, you know, I don't understand, like, why all this is out there. Like, why people aren't thinking this through. And uh, she's hilarious to watch anyway. I mean, I, somebody sent it to me, and I'm like, well, I'm a new subscriber. I liked her. And she said something very interesting in there, you know? She said in there, because she drinks this huge cup of tea and whatever, and it really starts off about the whole James Charles thing and Toddy, and she does this little mix at the beginning of it. But at the end, she says, you know, there are so many beauty influencers out there that aren't as big, but they're not causing any problems any, at all. They just love makeup. They just love the beauty industry. But why aren't we pumping them up? And then she's like, you know what? Because probably they're not that exciting. And she goes, at the end of the day, she said, you know, I think it's because we really do like to hear the tea. We do like to hear the drama. Well, these people know that, okay? They know that. We like to sit there and talk about it and watch it. I do. I, I can speak for myself, you know, that it's, it's intriguing to me to see what's going on, to see what the next move is going to be. For me, somewhat, it's very much like television. A lot of people that I talk to are like, I don't watch television. I watch YouTube. So for us, it's kind of like watching all this unfold, you know, but they are real lives. And so it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens. You know, we've got Nikita in this. We've got... Um, Gabriel Zamora, they're over here speaking. You know, we've got Jeffrey over here. He's not really saying a whole lot at this point. Tati has completely stayed silent since this stuff came out. She did one Instagram thing after that. James Charles hasn't said anything. And then we have Manny and Laura and Jacqueline Hill. And Jacqueline Hill, I noticed, is playing literally safe, okay? She's like tweeting out stuff. Laura Lee's tweeting about some Dr. Pepper. Manny's over there, you know, twerking in a closet. I mean, they are like staying away. But this is the thing, you guys, okay? Is that whatever James does next, or if Gabriel Zamora comes out and says some very specific things, which he could do, or Nikita exposes something, if this blows up, this could be, I mean, we think that what's going on right now is big, and this is Dramageddon 2019. You guys, this could be something like we have never seen before. This could be people literally pointing fingers left and right. This could be destruction of careers. This could be, oh my God, like we could look at people in a completely different way that we've never looked at them before. And I think it's going to make people really start questioning these beauty influencers and what their motives are and the friendships behind the scenes and all that kind of stuff. And all it's going to take... All it's going to take, okay, it's like a bonfire in the woods, one match to light that all, and it's just going to go up in flames. And it's going to be very, very interesting to see what happens next, you know? I don't know what's going to happen next. I mean, I really thought by Wednesday, Thursday today that James would come out and do something. I really do. I, he's going to have to make some kind of comment at some point, um, you know, and come out and do something. And I think that if he just comes out and says, like, hey, sisters or whatever, people will devour him. I mean, they will just let him have it. He's got to come out and do something. He's got to have some kind of press release and not a little notepad thing. Not, I mean, I, I don't know. It's going to be interesting to see what happens. I would like to know what you guys think is going to happen in the comment section below. I'd also like to know what you, why you think that he's getting subscribers back, you know? It's kind of everybody's move at this point. It's going to see what, you know? It, it's really sad. It's, and Swoop says this in her video, too. And I said this in my vlog the other day. That in a community that is based, you know, in beauty and makeup and things like that, 
isn't it sad that like this is all going on? Like really, like let's think about this. The majority of you out there that watch these beauty influencers is because you love makeup and you love the techniques that they teach you and their lives are intriguing and their lives are interesting and all this kinds of stuff, you know? But would you really want all this craziness in your life at the expense of having a Louis Vuitton bag or, you know, like some huge house or whatever? I mean, think about it. These people are nobody's friends to each other. It's very, very sad, you know? And um, I don't know, it's just the whole thing to me is just so confusing, and it's gonna be interesting to see what happens next. So let me know what you think in the comment section below, and like I said, let me know why you think that James Charles is gaining subscribers. I love you guys, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.